15 and 5 on. 15 is a warning to the riders to be ready. Once it goes round to 5, the gate will fall within 5 and 10 seconds after the board goes round. So here we go then for the first race of the day, Eastern Evo Championship. Over 12 minutes plus one lap. Down goes the board. And we're racing. I don't need a comment, hey, you can hear it from the speakers. Rider with the whole shot is 7.72, Jason Moret. He's followed by 63, Joseph James is in second. Well, that used to be a very deep mud hole in the times that I rode here. Uh, no coat for environmental reasons, of course. <laughs> The to complete one lap, 772, Second place is 63, Joseph Sandy. Jason Barrett pulling away up the head Harry of the Gladwin. hill. on the circuit catching one or two of the riders out in the early races. They're here soon. Here comes. Now 774 Jason Millet. He's being hot, hotly pursued now by 63 Jacob Jamie on a 250 Honda. First place is 822, that's Gary Gladwin on a Yamaha. He's followed by number four, David Stein. Then it's 52. Followed by 237. The lead is already third away. And to the bottom third once again. Jason Millet, Jackson, Jason Chambers, Jackson away in front. Jason Millet's 50 machine. Number 230 comes through on a lovely old four-stroke swing shot down the hall. Flag, one stop to the interest of safety, please. Flag the riders down, Marshall, thank you. I expect that would be the positions so that they can retrieve this lap. That's unusual to have a red flag. Clark, of course, saw that and was still with the red flag. Someone has fallen in an unsafe position. That's what I thought. That's a traffic light, isn't it? Yeah. We'll be far end of the track somewhere. Walkie talkie. Being used. 
that race being stopped in the interest of safety, ladies and gentlemen, as the race had gone more than half its precise distance. We can um, declare a result from that. Uh, we'll bring you the official results from the last corner. Sure as as soon as I get it. The ride on the bike has been taken off the course. Green flags up there. The next, next race, race on our program is the round of the NGR Over 30 Championship. We're incorporating some twin shot machinery as well. Um, for those of you who don't know the history of the NGR Championship, this was started many years ago by a gentleman called Nigel Reed. Um, sadly, Nigel no longer with us, still much missed, and uh, the championship still bears his name. Uh, Nigel's belief was that uh, there ought to be some incentive to keep some of the say, slightly more senior riders in the sport. And um, when the championship started, you had to be over 25 to ride in it. Um, it's since been changed to over 30. Um, I can tell you that um, at least one or two of the riders in it are over 60, and several of them are over 50. I won't tell you which ones, because I'm a sitting duck up here if they find out. We're ready on the start. Can you send the riders down, please? <laughs> That's the last race. Went for eight minutes in excess of 50%. The result will count for the end of the previous lap. The red flag went out. The next race. Someone's just arrived on the line, I thought they all arrived. We're not under starters orders yet. And there's the rider that came off. He's up and walking. Right, the start gate's loaded up. We've got a green flag, so we're ready to go racing again. First race of the day for the NGR Championship with twin shocks and pre-90 machinery over 12 minutes plus one lap. 15 second board is raised. Round we go to five. No, we're all watching the gate. And it's down. And we're away. See if we can spot who has the whole shot. <laughs> Rider with the whole shot is 501 Tim Clark. He's followed in second place by 107. Third place is 125 Paul Hubbard. One Tim Clark. Tim's oh, been doing his best for some years now. This is tight. It's tight. Oh, it's been a shame. Tim has been overtaken yeah. by 107, who I'm afraid I don't have in my program. So it's 107 for 501 Tim Clark, and 125 Paul Hubbard in third. And it's 119 Aaron Smith in fourth. by seven one five Trey Carlson in fifth. Sixth place is one seven seven Martin Buddy. Some of the twin shot machinery comes fast at it at the at the tail end of the field. A couple of nice looking hot farmers there. Something that takes me back a bit, which is a 250 red rocket Honda. The leader 